Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Good evening. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Thank you for joining us today. Hallelujah. We got another powerful word. Again, this is our corporate prayer. It's only 15 to 30 minutes, okay? But right now, I just want to talk about the power of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Uh, prayer and fasting is the subject. Prayer and fasting, the power of it. Too many people don't know the power of prayer and fasting because we really don't spend the time that we're supposed to spend with God because we got everyday life going on. You're a parent, whether you're a parent, you may be a spouse, you may be a single parent, but we got to get give time to God. I'm let me go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now with great joy and great excitement, Father God, for this corporate prayer, Father. This corporate prayer that will remove mountain, this corporate prayer that will heal the sick, this corporate prayer that will raise the dead in the name of Jesus, this corporate prayer that will bring the vision come to pass, to come to pass, Father God. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you all of the honor, Father God. In the blessed mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. I want to talk about the power of prayer. The, the subject is prayer and fasting, the power of it. Do you really have the power in prayer and in fasting? That's the question right now. Do you really have the power in prayer and in fasting? And the other thing is, do you take the time to pray and fast? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Now let's talk about this real quick. We always talk about Daniel and that's good. At, at, at a certain time, he prayed. He prayed to God and he was seeking God. Hallelujah. He spent time with God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. The church needs to get back. Both, both as the church, as a, as a body of Christ needs to get back to spending time with God. We have to start praying in our vision and our anointing that God has given us. Do we really spend time in prayer the way we supposed to? People say, oh, you don't have to spend an hour, two, three hours in prayer. You don't, because sometimes he'll answer your prayer in a matter of seconds. But sometimes you have to labor to get in to what God has for you. Sometimes you got to sit up there and pray and get into prayer. Prayer sometimes is labor. Prayer sometimes takes time to get into the presence of God. As a prayer life that you want, you want to be able to get into the presence of God. Why? So your prayers will have power. Why? So your prayers can have an anointing. So when you pray and you fast, it will bring the vision to come to pass that God put in you as a pastor or as a leader, listen, or as a husband, as a wife, as a parent, hallelujah, as a coach or a business or whatever, have you spent time in prayer? Glory to God, hallelujah. Mm, so your prayers can move mountains. You want your prayers to shake heaven. I preached on that. You want your prayers to be able to raise the dead. Glory to your name. You want your prayers to go up to heaven to where God said, I've heard your prayers. Yes, you do. And if you spend the time with God the way we are supposed to, it'll be easy to shake the throne of heaven, hallelujah, through prayer and through fasting. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. This corporate prayer right here is 15 to 30 minutes, but we want to come together in this 15 to 30 minutes to shake heaven. Hallelujah. That God will bring this vision to come to pass. 
Hallelujah. The vision for the ministry, the vision for the youth program, the vision that people be saved, and the vision that people have their prayer life. I'm talking about their own prayer life. I'm not telling you not to go to church. The Bible tells you to go to church, to assemble yourself together. The more as you see that day approaching, uh, Hebrews 10 and 25. But you also need your personal prayer life. Hallelujah. So when you come to church, hallelujah, and, P and the preacher about the preacher, hallelujah, you have already helped set the atmosphere for the preacher to preach. Glory to God. You have prayed enough. Uh, glory to God to where the pastor can come in and he don't have to fight so hard to get the message out. Glory to God. You have already fasted and prayed that when people come in that don't know Christ, it is easier for them to receive Christ. Hallelujah. Because you have been fasting and praying. Glory to God. You have prayed for your leadership. You have prayed for the vision. You have prayed for your own home and your own family. So when you come in, you are already charged, hallelujah, to do the spiritual warfare. Glory to God that you are commanded to do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people go home, hallelujah, to a spouse that's not even saved, and they got to put up with stuff just because they want to go to church and just because they want to pray. They telling you, you spending too much time at church. What you mean? I only spend X amount of hours, but when it's time for us to be together and be alone, you don't want to do it. But when it's time to go to church, then you want to have family time. What about the other time that we you wasn't doing nothing? You wanted to go run the street, hang out with your boys. You want to go hang out with your girls. Hallelujah. But now it's time to go to the house of God so we can do some praise and some worship. So we can pray lost souls in. So we can pray and there be signs and wonders and miracles. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Because when you're on your way home, you got to bind the devil before you get in the home. Hallelujah. Lord, don't let this man act crazy. Father God, in the name of Jesus, don't let this woman act up. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to your name. So understand something. We want prayer and fasting the power of it. I'm going to take you to a couple of scriptures and, and, and the reason why Elijah could do what he did because he spent time in prayer. It wasn't just because that he had a relationship. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, it wasn't just because he had a special relationship with God, and that was good because he did have that, but he also spent time in prayer. He spent time in prayer. Come here. He spent time in prayer in order for God to hear his prayer when it's time for him to pray in the heavens to shut up. When it's time for him to pray for the widow woman's son who had died. He spent time in prayer. He spent time in fasting. We as a body of Christ got to get back to prayer. We got to get back. Come here, Christian. We got to get back to prayer. We, I'm talking about spending time in prayer. Shut the door. And y'all too loud. We got to spend time in prayer. We got to spend time in fasting. We got to spend time in just to listen to God. I said I wasn't going to preach and I'm not going to preach but because this is prayer time. But I want you to understand, church. I want you to understand, saint of God. I want you to understand, child of God. Hallelujah. I want you to understand. We got to get back to fasting and praying. The power of it. Can you really understand what the power of fasting and prayer can do in your life? I say this all the time. Let's take football. I'm a football fan. I'm a baseball fan. Some of them games in football, one game, I take four and a half, five hours. Baseball, it'll take four and a half, five hours sometimes. 
But listen, if we can't spend that much time in prayer, look, it has a lot to do with it. I was talking to somebody on my executive board. One of the reasons you can't spend time with fasting and praying is because you're tired. And a lot of that has to do with your health. Health is a spiritual thing too. Hey, church folks love to eat, especially on Sunday. When you get out of church, let's go eat. You're going to the restaurant. You're going to the buffets. Hallelujah. Now, I have my uh, services on Saturdays. Hallelujah. So, but at the church, you want to go eat. We got to take care of this body as a temple as well. That also goes down to fasting and praying. Hallelujah. Let me go ahead and get a scripture and let us go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Mm. Let's go to, uh, 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 we're going to read a lie, um, First King chapter 17. First King chapter 17. Verse 19 and 20. Okay. First Kings, hallelujah. Chapter 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Sorry it took you so long. First King chapter 17. Verse 19. And 20. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Everybody got that? First Kings chapter 17, verse 19 and 20. It says, And she said unto her, and he said unto her, Give me thy son. And he took him, and he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft where he abode and laid him upon his own bed. And he cried unto the Lord and said, O Lord, my God, hast thou also brought evil upon this widow with whom I sojourned, so, sojourned by slaying her son? Let's read verse 21, verse 22. And he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried unto the Lord and said, O Lord, my God, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. He prayed and said, let this child's soul come into him again. Verse 22, and the Lord heard the voice of Elijah and the soul of that child came into him again, and he revived. So listen, it says right here, hallelujah. It says in verse 21, and he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried unto the Lord. Whoo, glory to God. And said, oh, Lord, my God, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. Glory to your name. Verse 22, this is what it says. And the Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. Verse 22, and the Lord heard the voice of Elijah. I want the Lord to hear my voice when I cry, when I cry out to him. Hallelujah. I want my prayers up in the throne room. Glory be to God. I want God to hear my prayer that somebody's soul can go back into them and they be revived again. We're talking about prayer and fasting. Elijah have, I didn't say had, he have a relationship with God. He got a relationship with God, hallelujah, that God heard him from the throne room. And because he has a relationship with God and because he fasts and he prays, listen, 
fasting and praying and spending time with God. I just met, let, met a man a couple of days ago, and he is spending six to eight hours a day in prayer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it's nothing. It's not a burden unto him. Glory to God. Why? Because he loved the Lord. Hallelujah. And fasting and praying gets you closer to Christ Jesus. Glory to your name. I said fasting and prayer gets you closer to Christ Jesus. You got to spend time with him in prayer and in fasting. That is the fundamental of your relationship with Christ. I preached on that before. Your fundamental to get closer with Christ, for Christ to use you, for your anointing to get stronger. But right here, I want to be like Elijah. I want a relationship with God that God heard my cry. He heard my prayer. And the boy's soul was returned back into him. Hallelujah. And the boy revived, meaning the boy started had life again. He revived again. He started breathing again. Hallelujah. That's the kind of anointing, and you only can get it through fasting and praying. You only can get it through spending time with God, with communing with God. That is the only time, hallelujah, that you can do that. Glory to your mighty name. I said, glory to your name. So we're going to pray, Lord, let me fast right. Lord, let me pray right. Mm. Lord, I want to spend the quality time with you. I know we got a lot of things to do, hallelujah, but sometimes, Lord, the, if, if it ain't five to six hours, whatever time I spend with you, I want it to be quality time with you in the spirit. Glory to your holy name. Glory to your name, bless your holy name. Glory to your name and bless your holy name. Prayer and fasting, the power of it. Glory to God. And maybe I may have to follow up on this tomorrow, but I need you to understand. Oh, you want mountains moved. You want your parents saved. You want them healed and delivered from cancer. You want them healed and delivered from dementia and Alzheimer's. You want them healed and delivered from diabetes. Glory be to God. Let your prayers shake heaven. Hallelujah. Let your fast shake heaven to where God himself can hear your prayers. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. It's called the anointing. It's called the uh, presence of God. It's called spending time with God. Hallelujah. It's called spending time with Spending time with the Lord. I don't care if you're a pastor, a preacher, a bishop, an apostle. You got to spend some time in with God. I'm talking about some time. Hallelujah. Everybody needs to spend time with God. You don't have to be a preacher, an apostle, an evangelist, a minister. But you are a child of God. So spend time with him. Glory to your mighty name. So we're going to pray, hallelujah, the Lord, we want to spend quality time with you in prayer and in fasting. Mm. Hallelujah, the power of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah, glory to your name. So let's go ahead, hallelujah, and we are going to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, believe in your prayer. Believe in the prayer that you are praying to God. Believe it. I said believe it. You don't get up here after, after this corporate prayer and you saying, I hope God heard my prayer. No, he heard my prayer. And if I haven't been spending quality time with him, I'm starting tonight. If I haven't spend, been spending enough time with him to, to get into the presence of the Lord. I'm starting tonight. I'm starting right now. If I have not been fasting the way I'm supposed to and how I'm supposed to, I'm starting tonight. Hallelujah. When you get into the fasting and prayer that you want, it is easier for you to read this word 
it is easier for you for God to give you revelation of the word. Hallelujah. Demons are going to flee because of the anointing that's on you. You may go to a job. You may have witches and you may have warlocks there. You may have people doing dark arts. You may have hypocrite folks up in there. Hallelujah. But the anointing on you, they hate being around you. They can't stand to see you because there's something called an anointing. And they see that you spend time with God in, in prayer and in fasting. Hallelujah. Remember the subject, prayer and fasting, the power of it. Hallelujah. It ain't the mystery of it. It's a mystery, but it ain't just spend time with him. Hallelujah. Spend time with him. Glory to God. If we can sit up here and watch uh, movies all day. Hallelujah. I've done it a couple of times. Uh, look, we can sit up here and watch a movie three, four, five hours. And if it's a good movie, we might watch it two or three times in a row, back to back. But can we spend time with the Lord? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Fasting and prayer, the power of it. I know I'm preaching this is corporate prayer, but somebody needs to listen to this. Make sure you like and share. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. It's called the anointing of God. You can't get that if you don't spend time in fasting and prayer. I'm talking about consistency. We talking about consistency when we talk about athletes consistently. Hallelujah. They giving you 20 points, 10 rebounds, eight assists every game consistently. Hallelujah. Let's be consistent in prayer and in fasting. Let's be consistent in praising. And listen, when we talk about praise and worship, I want to talk about true praise and true worship. True praise, true worship. Because too many people are going to church and you get entertained by praise and worship instead of getting into worship. You want to get into worship before you want to get entertained. You want to get into the presence of God before you get entertained. Hallelujah. When the preacher preach, you want to feel the anointing, not just him entertaining you. Glory to your name. Listen. I know this is corporate prayer, so let's go ahead and pray. Again, if you got any questions, email me. You got my email, hodim1117 at gmail.com. Or you can uh, email the website, hodim.org. Hallelujah. How, my God, help me today. Woo! Glory to your name. Hallelujah. My new commitment today is to increase my prayer time and my fasting time, I got to at least double it. I want to triple it. Hallelujah. I got to, my goal is this, to spend more time in prayer and in fasting and reading this word than I do in watching TV. And I watch a lot of TV. That's my new goal. My new goal is to spend more, twice as much time in prayer fasting, seeking the Lord, reading the word, studying the word than it is in TV, than I do on TV. And I look, ain't nothing wrong with TV to a point. I'm just saying, if you spend six, seven, eight hours a day on TV, you should at least cut that in half. You spend an eight hours a day watching TV, half that should start going to prayer, fasting, reading your word, However you're going to do it, whether it's prayer and reading your word, you know, hallelujah. You can fast the TV. Okay, Lord, for the next, uh, for this next 24 hours, 18 hours, I'm not going to watch TV. So what am I going to do? I'm going to read, but what am I going to read? You got the Bible. Hallelujah. You can, my God, let me be quiet. You can study the Hebrew history or however you want to do it. Let's go ahead and pray. Remember the subject. Prayer and fasting, the power of it. Okay, so we're coming up and let us go ahead and pray. 
remember, we're praying for, Lord, we want to get closer to you when we do our prayer and when we do our fasting. Because once you get closer to him in prayer and in fasting, your anointing gets stronger. Your prayers will really help somebody. You really will be able to raise the dead and heal the sick. Glory to your mighty name. Listen, this is a very important message. So I encourage everybody to share this. Like and share. Hallelujah. You, look, even subscribe to my channel. If you got questions, I will answer them according to the Bible, according to the anointing and the revelation that God is going to give me. I don't know everything. Everybody don't. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But you better have a relationship with God to where he can speak to you and lead you and guide you. Hey, glory to God. So let's go ahead and pray. We got a few minutes. We got about five minutes before this is over. So let's go ahead and pray. Remember, we're praying. Hallelujah. We are praying that our prayer and our fasting mean something to God, that we do it to get closer to you, not just to say that we did it. We really want to seek you in prayer and in fasting. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and pray right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now and we say thank you, Lord. We honor you, we magnify you, and we lift you up in the name of Jesus. Now, we thank you for the word this morning, Father God. I'm sorry, this evening, Lord. We thank you for the revelation that you have brought forth in prayer and fasting and the power of it, Father God. Lord, let us apply this word to our life. Let us apply it to our spiritual life. Lord, we want to make sure that we continue to hunger and thirst after righteousness, Father God. God, that we have spiritual ears to hear, Father God, that we have spiritual eyes to see, that we have the discernment, glory be to God, that we have the discernment, hallelujah, to do your will, Father God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we want power in our prayer, and we want power in our fasting, Father God, we want to seek you daily, we want to commune with you daily. We want to spend time with you daily. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now, Father God, I pray, Father God, that I can pray and fast the vision of this house that it come to pass, Father God. I pray for the finances, Father God. I pray for the staff in the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that your will be done in this vision, that your will be done upon me as the head of this vision, that your will be done, hallelujah, on the people that's on staff in this vision, Father. Now, we thank you for bringing in the finances, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for ushering in your anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you for ushering in your anointing. Thank you for ushering in the finances that we can do all that you have put in my heart for this vision to do in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bind every devil and every demon that's trying to hinder this work, Father. We bind every devil and every demon that's trying to hinder this service right now. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for power. We thank you for anointing in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you all of the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we want our personal prayer life to get higher. We want our personal life in prayer to get higher. We want our personal life in the Bible and reading your word to go higher. Lord, as we go higher in you, you can give us more revelation. You can give us more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, order my steps. Order our steps in Jesus' mighty name. I give you glory, I give you praise, and I give you all of the honor on today in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray for everybody 
that are tra is traveling on the highways, the byways, the air, Father God. Protect them and keep them, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray for the church. Lord, we pray that the church come back to repentance, Father God, that the church come back, Father God, to true prayer and to true fasting. We pray in the name of Jesus that the church get out, get every uh, idol spirit, idol image out of the church. Hallelujah. And that go across every denominational line. Hallelujah. Get the idol worship out of the church. Get the idol symbols out of the church in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every preacher, Father God, every pastor in the name of Jesus. Lord, let us get back to true holiness. Let us get back to true righteousness and true sanctification, Father God. Hallelujah. We're not called to be politicians. We're called to be preachers. We're called to be messengers of the word, to be teachers of this word, Father God. Now I bind up and I eradicate every false preacher, every false teacher, every false prophet in the name of Jesus, every false evangelist. We bind every spirit of perversion in the name of Jesus. We bind adultery. We bind fornication. We bind that abominable spirit of homosexuality and, 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 and lesbianism in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we give you glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we give you honor and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I thank you for joining us. I thank you for joining us today. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, if you want to be saved, all you got to do is say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me for everything that I've done that is wrong. I want to thank you for saving me, Father. Thank you that you didn't send me to a devil's hell. In the name of Jesus. Remember, saints, this is the Heart of David International Ministries. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Remember, on YouTube or Facebook, hallelujah. Mm. On Zoom, you, you're welcome to leave comments. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow for another blessed and anointed word from Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember to contact me at HODIM1117 at gmail.com. Or you go to the website at HODIM.org. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you today, Father God. We bind every devil and every demon right now. We bind every spirit of murder, every spirit of suicide. We bind this aborting spirit. We bind the spirit of abortion in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of shame in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we pray for everybody. Hallelujah. We ask the Lord that you forgive us for everything that we've done, whether we have had an abortion or convinced somebody to have an abortion. Father God, forgive us. Lord, forgive us for murder and lying and stealing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. Thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another powerful word from the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray amen, amen, and amen again. God bless you. Have a